you know, Paul, I'm thinking if Al had hurt himself, our stage and Al Mar cleaning up the mess I made, I would have been responsible for that. That's right. I couldn't have lived with myself. That's right. Yeah. Where is Al now? He's fine. Al's just fine. Uh, let's see who's on the show uh, Monday. Uh, the, Ro uh, the Roaches will be here later tonight. Yes. Yeah. And uh, also Robert Wall, a fine actor and a very funny gentleman, will be joining us. Robert Wall. And uh, Monday on the uh, show, why, why look, ladies and gentlemen, it's Chris Elliott. Hi, Chris. Chris Elliott, nice Dave, to have I'm you not here. here to be part of one of your little comedy skits or right. send-ups or whatever the hell you call them right. nowadays. I've got something important I have to do, something I've wanted to do for eight years now, and something, since the rest of the staff doesn't seem to have the courage or the guts to do, that by God, I will. I hope you're not going to ask me for a loan. <laughs> That's funny. We always have to end on a little joke, don't yeah. we? Well... <laughs> Look around, Dave. I don't hear anyone laughing now, do you? Yeah, but I'm used to that. <laughs> Again, a little joke. Well, my friend, the times, they are a-changing. I think I've made my point. Yeah. Nice job. Oh, great, Chris, on your way out, I'm sorry, can you take those phony drinking fountains with you? Oh, sure. Great. Thank you very much. Chris Elliott, boys and girls, it's Chris Elliott. We'll be right back here with the uh, Roaches. Oh. Time just flew by, didn't it? Yeah. Hey, can you give me gains, please, Jeff? Yeah. yeah thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow on the uh, program. Oh, later tonight on this show, ladies and gentlemen, Smokey Robinson. Yeah. Song. What are we gonna hear? Sounds so great. Doing everything you touch. His new yeah. single. Uh -huh. Unbelievably great. Yeah. Responsible for many, many great songs. Oh, please. Yeah. My, I need the glue for my tooth. It's come loose. I know. I know. But my tooth has come loose, honey. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's the magic tooth glue. Thank you very much, Barbara. Huh? This is wonderful. I've never seen anything like this on television before. <laughs> All right, let me just... I've pulled it out now. Okay. I'll just load up a little glue. This is testers, stuff that's model airplane glue. There it is right there. You just put on... Usually I put on like a teaspoonful for an entire show, but... And we just slip it right in like this. Here we go, Anton, a drum roll. Get ready, Gaines. Oh, dear. Thank you, honey. Goodbye. Thank you, honey. Goodbye. Thank you, honey. Goodbye. Yeah, thank you. You know, odd as it may seem, she's not connected with the show. <laughs> uh, tomorrow on the program, it's another good one. Who is what? Who we got? What? Oh, oh yeah, look, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Elliott. Hi, Chris. Sure. Hi, Chris, what, what can we do for you? Well, Dave, please, don't try to be funny. Uh -huh. um, I don't uh, really have time for any of your yuppie shtick right now. Um, 
I don't know if you're aware, but big changes are happening all over the world. Uh, if you look at the events in Germany and the Soviet Union and, of course, in Nicaragua. And you think... I'm sorry, Chris. What was the last one? I said Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. And what's wrong? Maybe you should turn up your hearing aid, Grandpa. Yeah. Anyway. Chris, what I was... Chris, excuse me. I just pray to God you're wearing shorts under that robe. Okay. Very funny. Maybe we should check the joke meter on that one. I think you broke a world's record. <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, at least for tonight. Uh, anyway, one of these days, you're going to wake up, Dave, and you're going to smell the coffee. The world is changing, and so are things right here. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Elliott. No one's allowed in Mr. Letterman's dressing room, nor in his private shower. Oh, is that so? Well, I have 30 stinking, filthy people here who want to take a shower, and I'm the first one in line. So get the hell out of my way, you flaming queen. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this palace he's been living in. ugliest thing I have ever seen in my life. Uh, we have to do a commercial, and then we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Organization devoted to mobilizing civilians like you and me in the ongoing fight against urban crime, and he's here tonight with a little demonstration how we can make our lives a bit safer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chris Elliott. Chris! Good to see you. We, we, we haven't, thank you very much. Haven't seen you in a while. What, no. what have you been up to? Well, actually, Dave, I've been pretty busy putting together my vigilante group. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know uh, <laughs> if you heard about it or not, but a couple of weeks ago, I was mugged. Uh -huh. Yeah, well. Wow. Thank you. I don't know why the hell they're clapping, but I'll take it anywhere I can. So now you were mugged. Now, did you get a look at the people who did this to you? Oh, sure. It happened in broad daylight uh -huh. uh, in the theater district. They were actually coming out of a Broadway matinee. Uh -huh. I think uh, I think they had just seen Les Miserables. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, what was that, the last part there? I said Les Miserables. I see, right. So, so you were mugged by punks who had been watching a Broadway musical. Well, actually, Dave, they weren't punks. They were uh, middle-aged women. Uh -huh. um, I think... They were real mom types. I yeah, think they were probably yeah. from Connecticut. And I think it was one of those situations where uh, they just didn't like my looks. Oh, I see. Either that or I looked frightened, uh -huh. which you're not supposed to do. If, if you see somebody, don't look frightened. Just look them straight in the eye. Yeah. Whatever happened, they beat the living crap out of me. Yeah. So. So, so then you, you formed this organization, and right. now you're showing people simple things they can do to simple defend themselves Simple things everybody can do street. on the street to okay. defend yourself. And I'm right, going to well, show you a yeah, couple of right things, and sure. I need your help okay. with these things. What okay? can I do for you? Now, what I want you to do, Dave, is you want, play... Should I be on the map? Yeah, just for safety reasons. Why don't you be on the 
than that. Okay. I'm just going to play a normal passerby, and I All want right. you to be one of the huckleberries on the street that I'm hassle sorry, these be people. One of the one. Huckleberries on the street that hassle these people. I want you to grab me by the neck and hold me by the neck, okay? That's what a huckleberry just, would do? That's what a huckleberry would do. <laughs> okay, just grab me by the neck. I'll show you how you to get out Do you have a squirrel in your hat? <laughs> I didn't. I have a bad ear. I okay, didn't know what you said. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Just I, grab I me. grab you, right? Just All right, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. There, like okay. that. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, let go. You're hurting me. At this point. <laughs> Just like that? But that's the kind of move that you do to let him go. Now, most muggers aren't as strong as Dave right here. Thank right. you very much. Now, you another thing I want to show off, you there, is okay. called the dancer. Mm. Now, this is the oldest scam in the book, and if you see this guy coming up the street, run like hell. Now, this is called the dancer, so and what he does... On the mat again? You just stand right there. Right. You're a normal passerby, what? and I'm the dancer. And what he does is he starts dancing up the street, and you right. see him coming, and he's shaking it pretty good. And yeah. he's coming up to you, and he's feeling the beat, and he's shaking it. And pretty soon, he's standing there next to you, you're feeling the beat, mm -hmm. and you start to shake mm -hmm. it, too. Yeah. You, know, you know, the only thing I'm really feeling here is embarrassment. <laughs> All right. Well... And Before was, you know it, the guy would be dancing off with your yeah. wallet. This was there a huckleberry in that one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Really. Okay, here we go. Anyway, the last thing I want to show yeah. you, if I can, sure. is the uh, standard pickpocket roost. Now, everybody oh, yeah. knows this. Yeah, a lot of everybody people Everybody been pickpocket? Yeah, sure. You could be standing in line at the grocery store, maybe at the bank. Dave, mm -hmm. why don't you be in line at the bank? All right. <clears> you're just standing the there, you're waiting in line. Guy comes up from behind, well, stands there behind you. I'd have a couple of suitcases full of cash if I were at the bank. That one. Yeah. You're standing behind him, right. and suddenly he puts his hands in your pockets, just like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, you don't, you know, you don't think anything of it. He's a pretty normal guy, and uh, he seems like a pretty nice guy. He's making conversation. He's saying stuff to you. Hey, it's a pretty bank, isn't it? Nice you know, bank, I don't know yeah. how long this bank is built. Yeah. And what he's actually doing, he's looking for your wallet, and then... Right, right. What? And, then, and, then, and, then, and then what happens? What, what do you do then? Um, Dave, do the lights in the studio ever go out completely? No, never happened. Then why do you have a flashlight in your pocket? <laughs> oh, man. Chris Elliott, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Elliott. Thank you.